What's up, YouTube? It's Callie from Man221. We are back on the fields of Napoleon Total War. I command the French, and my opponent also commands the French. So this is going to be a little bit confusing. Now, the rules were no rockets, and my opponent actually only speaks French. So, I didn't know that. So, he's basically cheated. Hardcore. Sir! Sir! I you hear how loud those things are, like it's the 4th of July. Anyway, he's trying to take down my general, and I'm going to be running my general all around here, and he's eventually going to get killed. But um, I'm basically moving up my army, because I thought we were going to have a fun position, but then when I saw his rockets coming... Anyway, I want to explain my army. I've got five Voltigeers. I'm not, like, pretty sure that's how you pronounce them. I've got two Fusiliers on this flank couple more fusiliers so four and uh, okay so I've got yeah it looks like five fusiliers then we've got these two very elite units the young guard and these are a little bit cheaper than the old guard but still very good units then I've got a that's just fusilier here we go we got the brave the 18th regiment of fusiliers so they're actually pretty awesome and then I've got my artillery too Actually, Ashival. And then I've got a Polish Legion. Do I have two Polish Legions? That would be, yes, I got two Polish Legions. And here's how they look. They look pretty sweet, actually. I like their, uh, their white graduation gown cap things. Anyway, I've also got a 7th uh, Regiment of Lancers. I've got a Dragoon. And another Dragoon unit. Now, he's focusing all his fire on my cavalry right now so I'm desperately trying to take Our out these running, my horses were, were kinda dumb and they decided to run right on this side and his guard Cheshire Ashaval shot me so this is a charge I'm hoping will kill some of his rockets and he's also got some grenadiers I believe he's using like the standard army anyway we're gonna get in here and I was watching this battle at the exact moment desperately trying to route these units they're down to 10. My guys wait. My guys are wavering. Now they're confident. Can we kill this victory, horrible crew? And for some yours. reason, the bar's all out of whack because he brought rockets and it's giving me this huge advantage over him. I basically, my, I may have lost all my cavalry and I'm trying to do something cheeky here. I'm actually trying to bring my cavalry out and attack this gen. But, uh, yeah, they lost. So I'm bringing up my troops into position. We have one rocket down. And you are not gonna s you're gonna see all the sacrifice that I take to kill this one rocket. And uh, then we played. I feel like I'm gonna show you a little bit of excerpt from the next battle. We played the next battle. I, I realized I started speaking to him. And I started uh, writing in English to him. You cheated and stuff. Like not complaining really badly, but saying you cheated. And um, so I've still got my artillery, and they are targeting around here. Skrnadiers and his Sheshers. Now, uh, the difference the two uh, skirmishing units are the Sheshers, which have 90 men, but only 40 accuracy. And then they got the Voltigeers, which are this unit, and they are actually light infantry also. But these guys have 60 accuracy. So I've just got to take his one Sheshire out. So we've got 30 less men, but 20% more accuracy, so more shots on target. And uh, I realized I was kind of making a mistake. Um, I brought my infantry right on top of each other, so that really wasn't too smart. And then I'm, I'm making some mistakes, and he's going to get all these shots on me. And this flank is going to be critical, because I know if I can get this flank down, I'll start wrapping up. And I was watching over here. He actually charges Dutch guard lancers and is going to take out my skirmishers here. Meanwhile, I've got my Polish guys formed into a square in the woods, and his Dutch guard lancers are shooting at them. Now... I really want to be France. I've got a Total War tournament coming up that I'm hosting with eight players. Uh, we got, uh, I'm not going to name them right now, but uh, basically I've got my whole bracket set up and it's going to be really fun. So it's going to be next weekend, the weekend of the January 20th. And uh, I'm doing this commentary right now because uh, it's halftime at the playoff game of the Patriots and the Broncos. I'm pretty pleased with it right now. It's 35-7. So... Tom Brady did a really uh, a sneaky thing. I don't know if you guys really care, but uh, don't be hating on me if you're like a not a Patriots fan. But you know, I just they seem to be a really solid team. 
So once again, I'm gonna use another, lose another skirmisher, and I'm having trouble controlling my guys because they're not walking. And he has these guard lancers, and they cost a, about a thousand dollars. You should not have them get. I mean, you maybe took out a, a bolted gear unit, but I mean, look, we're just pouring the fire down on him. And you know what? These guys are running away, and they're shattered. And they deserve to be shot because cowards deserve to get shot. So. We absolutely destroyed that. And by the way, once you bring your rockets up, they, uh, <laughs> I'm sending another unit in. So this one unit is actually doing pretty well. Let's see, nothing really over here. I saw my guys in the square. He still got some guard Cheshires. And he brought a ton of guard units. He brought some really good cavalry. But his infantry body, he has like two skirmishers and then tons of fusiliers. And, uh, yeah. So I got this great idea to bring up my, my last skirmish unit and some Fusiliers of the line to help. And then I'm also transferring my Young Guard to the left flank. And the Young Guard were walked, so they're still fresh. Why my, uh, Fusiliers are very tired, because I was running them all over the map. Because, yeah, and then I basically got some more Fusiliers in the woods. And eventually, I'm going to transfer my whole army over to this flank. And uh, it's going to be very cool. And so, also... These guys were on the hill, I didn't see them, and he killed them with his guard, Cheshire Al-Cheval. And Al-Cheval in French means of the horse. So, uh, yeah, French guards, that's my name on Steam, I actually speaks a little bit of French. So I definitely want to give you some sweet close-ups, because uh, I just put my graphics on, it turns out they were medium, and I actually put them on uh, very high for this, because my computer can definitely handle it. Let's go over to the French lens. It's amazing that 78 guys can hold off so many of my troops. Every time you see the ground shake, that's his rockets going sh shooting off. And then, you know, I just decided, you know what, I'm probably going to lose these guys, so I'm just going to try to bayonet charge this uh, rocket. But our morale's not too good right now. And then um, I've been shooting at his line because we have a little bit, we have 20 more yards on the French troops. I think I should be showing my bayonet charge. But um, we're going to see if it's successful or not. Here's where the rockets are like shooting up close. They got there like a millisecond too late. And I got really mad. They were right there. And they withdrew like that. That really frustrated me. And I don't have any cavalry so I can't charge them. That would have been perfect. Um, I'm not really watching on this side of the battlefield. To be honest. And then uh, he's starting to target my, uh, my awesome cav. My uh, cavalry horse troops and I've been running my general back and forth and he finally died because uh, he was running back here dodging rockets you know look how turned up the ground is and uh, he sent his guard Dutch Lancers I couldn't really do anything about it and we're about to see 18th century oh who died he's running oh yeah and then I, I tried to attack his uh, including an attack away on his rockets but there's this hill in the way so now I've got no skirmishers and uh, I'm just down to my young guard so, um, this is what I want to focus on right now. I was focusing on these. I was like, oh my gosh, there's my artillery. That's the only thing I really have that's keeping me going in this battle because my infantry attacks seem to be, uh, you know, not too successful. And there's that glitch with the uh, arch artillery arch of all. Where, uh, for some reason, there's no people on this, so they don't shoot, which is kind of cheap. So, I'm desperately trying to run my guys as the Dutch guard lancers are coming. So, they're still walking, and now I'm like, oh, run, run, run. So uh, he's got not not looking good for me. My infantry attacks have been bad. My fusiliers aren't going to get here in time to save my artillery. And uh, his cavalry's chasing him. If these weren't horse drawn, they would have been completely wiped out. So I'm really happy they were horse drawn. And uh, he's starting to shoot rockets, but I'm within their minimum range. So I've brought up my two units of young guard, some of the best men in my army here. They look very sweet. And uh, we're gonna... Uh, this is kind of like a, a French Civil War. Like, uh... Let's just say this is Louis the Seventeenth's army and we're Napoleon's army returning after he got exiled on Elba. That was actually a bonus question in uh, world history a couple years ago. Where was Napoleon first exiled? So here's some awesome shots of my awesome young guard. Oh, yeah, so his cavalry, I formed these men in the square to shoot the horses, and his cavalry have been semi-successful. They did route this unit, but uh, this unit's gone away, 
And I don't really want to turn around my guys because, uh, you know, we're trying to keep these guys safe. So I'm going to move my artillery over here and get them shooting at his guys. So, you know, the young guard, they just do what they want. They just completely took down these vaulted gears that were, uh, so he's going to break off a unit, and this is what you do not want to do. Just break off one unit of your army. Now, my opponent didn't sit there the whole time and camp with his rockets. He could have, you know, not been cheap. I just wish... I eventually got my Google Translate out on my iPhone and started speaking to him in French, which I don't really, which I don't really speak. I got to learn a couple words here and there. And uh, as you can see, he's actually targeting my Fusiliers, but uh, it's not going to do anything. So I've got... The Brave coming in, some Polish Legion, some Polish Legion in the back, and some Fusiliers. So this is my whole army here. If he wanted to attack, which he doesn't, he's like doing these bonsai charges. Could have actually taken him out. And these guys are actually going to get to the lines. So, by the way, on the minimap, I'm the blue one if you want to ever get a little bit lost. Basically, my whole army's here, and he's his whole army stretched down there. It's not doing anything. I'm bringing these guys here, and he's sending another bonsai charge of Fusiliers. But you know what? If you're a Fusilier, you do not want to be fighting the Young Guard. If I not brought five units of guards, well, I guess the old guards are technically guards. Uh, Polish Legion is kind of in between. And then uh, the Rev the 18th Regiment, you know. Anyway, these guys, you know, they were tired. No, they actually weren't tired. They just had really bad morale. And as you can see, there's one of my... Actually, that's, not one, of, that's one of his guys. See how he's running? So I'm just kind of reshuffling my army. I'm starting to spread out my guys in long, thin lines because the mo more of them can shoot. And I'm, I'm getting kind of nervous here because I'm not sure how much ammunition we all have. And uh, we're shooting at the shattered units, so that's not really going to help. Yeah, so let's... Uh, I'm going to fast forward here because nothing's really... Oh, wait, wait. We're not going to fast forward. Something good's going to happen. I bring my artillery up, and guess what I'm targeting? His general unit, and there he goes. Bam! You kill my general, I kill yours, Cobra. Right there. Where's the general? Is that the general? Oh, hello, Mr. General. So you get when you command a camping army. Killed on the grass. Anyway. <laughs> so that made, I literally, like, jumped out of my chair like, that's what you get. So, um... I've got my two Polish Legion here. I'm kind of guarding this pass. I'm using the terrain to my advantage so he can't outflank me. And then I'm going to bring these units up. Now, I do have a Fusilier here. And these guys are going to... They only got 43 men left. They were right here where all the bodies are. And uh, so basically, I'm going to have them kind of protect my artillery just in case he has any cav. He has his General's unit, which he's going to try to charge later. And I'm um, even bringing this unit over to... I'm going to move my guys up to try to get some flanks. And you know, Polish Legion, I like them a lot better than the Swiss Foot because these are just quality units here. And uh, they look cool. So, um, one thing this guy, like, he wasn't very... I don't want to say it. He wasn't... I think he was a little bit afraid to attack because he camped. And the fact is that he really doesn't really understand that I said really twice, but he doesn't understand that hitting his flanks is how I'm going to... He has so many more infantry than I do. And if he just attacked outright with all his troops lined up, he could have killed either one of my wings, especially this wing. But, uh, you know, when you camp, you get you can uh, be attacked by maneuver. And uh, I, I immediately packed up my artillery, seeing his cav coming. And uh, I'm going to bring these guys right in front of the way, so these guys are kind of be like... Uh, Let's call them the cannon fodder guys who are protecting the cannons. And they can't form a square. So um, these guys kind of ran and got whacked. And they ran to some of my young guard. And that would route his general. And they were going for my artillery. So I'm going to bring my artillery back up onto the ridge here. Have a nice clear line of those French troops in the distance. I'm using N by the way to do this cinematic zoom. And uh, yeah, Napoleon looks great, doesn't it? Meanwhile, he's piecing, he's like kind of confused. He's not sure exactly what to do to meet these threats. And now, uh, you know, my Pulse Legion, very good accuracy, about 50 accu accuracy. And, uh, you know, we're just going to pick these units off one by one from the flank. Now, he's being smart, he is turn turning his troops this way. 
And uh, I'm kind of not sure. I kind of I like this uh, crossfire because any unit here is going to get shot by three units. But I am going to move my troops. So I'm basically focusing mostly on his fusiliers. So I'm just going to double speed it. So this is what I'm talking about. He's kind of reshifting his line. But now what I'm doing is when he reshifts his line, I'm going to squeeze in. So I'm going to be attacking this side. He moves it. He seems to be moving in a line fashion. Oh, those guys actually get some really nice shots on my young guard. But they only killed five of them because they're in such a loose formation. So, here's what I'm talking about. We got these guys on the flank here. And look, he's going to reef shift his line like this. And he's going to come right into my line with my Polish Legion troops here. Gosh, these guys look awesome, don't they? So, uh... If you want to be France, definitely bring some Polish Legion. You can bring up to four of these units. So this line is getting hacked down. And then here... He stopped firing. Now, I know we weren't out of range because he shot us back here. Or maybe he's just out of range. I'm going to move up into that fire. You know what? He has more infantry than I do. He has like six units now. So actually... I have one more unit of line infantry than I he does. Here's my last uh, vaulted gear unit. They're actually shooting. I'm going to bring them up to start bringing some more fire down. But uh, yeah, these guys are just getting picked off from the flanks. And they're not liking that. And he's just sending one at a time. He's got some troops in the back. But when you send one unit bunched up like this, we've got three units. And you know what? We're in single man formation. All 88 of these men here. Okay, actually, they're getting shot pretty bad. Okay, 80-something of these men here are all going to do this, and they're just going to shoot, and there's going to be 80 bullets coming at your guys, not to mention these units. So now my lines have kind of merged, and I got my artillery going again. And what I'm doing with my artillery is I'm aiming at these routing units to try to get them to shatter so they won't come back. Uh, this was just interesting. So what I'm doing here is I'm doing a screen play like you would in football. I'm having this unit that's really demoralized and weak. I'm having them oh, run to the side and absorb the fire. But they just lasted a little bit. Not not long enough. But uh, they made them lose all their things. So they're going to get some more shots up at my uh, my guard. But these, these two units are inspiring the brave. And you know, we're, we're even maneuvering more. I and mean, we've got our, our infantry here. We've got our skirmishers, our other Polish legion. I mean, we are just shattering his whole left flank. And then on the right flank, we're opening that up with our young guard. You know, these guys only have 40% accuracy. And we have more young guard than they do. They're not going to last a chance. They're not going to stand a chance. So he's got even more units coming in on this side. He's breaking off more of his center. And actually, these guys got on my flank. And that concerned me. So I'm going to withdraw my guys back. Oh, this is a nice hit. Our artillery went right in the middle of those grenadier lines. And uh, don't bring grenadiers. They just have 30 less men, and their grenades are not effective at all in this game. Let's show you this. The young guard come charging in on these Cheshires. And uh, I just figured, you know, why shoot them down when you can just melee them? Anyway, so he tried to bring these guys up for two charges, and they just got repelled. And that's when Cobra surrendered. Good game to Cobra, even though he cheated. And, uh, done with the video if you enjoyed. And I do listen to you guys, and the comment had 10 thumbs up on more Napoleon, so that's what you get. It's Carl from a 221 sign-off. Hope you enjoyed.